Uh, I thought it was a joke. I was a joke at first, but uh, you know, obviously when it all settles in, I truly excited to be somewhere where I'm wanted. Uh, I'm really happy to start a new chapter here. Uh, so before being with the guys. Was there any level of disrespect that you felt given the return package that went to Detroit for a two-time All-Star and one of the best centers in the game? You know, for me, I'm just looking forward to playing the Cleveland Cavalier jersey. Uh, I'm excited to be here. You know, everything happens for a reason. So I look at the bright as a the bright as a bright note for me and my family to start somewhere new and uh, be with a great group of guys. How do you continue to play the more traditional <clears throat> style of basketball at the center when the league is kind of shifting away from that? Okay. I make myself very dominant in my position, so it makes it hard not to not to want to be around it. So for me, I just. Uh, play as hard as I can, try to put my team in a good position to win, and uh, I think I get to go here. Tristan came to the defense of the traditional big man yesterday. Do you feel like guys like yourself and Tristan and guys playing the local and stuff like that are kind of underappreciated at this point? I mean, we're here, so I mean, we're appreciated by somebody, so <laughs> I, would, I wouldn't say we're underappreciated. I think we're here for a reason, and uh, they want us here for a reason as well, too. You obviously played against the Cavs multiple times. <laughs> Um, especially this year, where do you feel like you can help this group the most? Definitely with the guards, the young guards. I'm definitely looking forward to working with them and uh, shedding some insight both on offense and defense as well, too. Getting, uh, give some film on them today, too, so I can sit down and really watch how they play so I know what I'm working with. But I think I can really help them out. Is that kind of through the, the being a back line for their, for them, their defense? They Absolutely. By? Just uh, that's a back line defense. You know, uh, definitely communication is going to be huge with them. I know they're young and they're still learning. But if I could help them get past that curve a little bit early, I think it would be very good. How steep do you think the learning curve is for you coming cool. over here, playing under, B, you know, with B line uh, system? Obviously, they probably do things. I think for me, I think for me, it'd be pretty, pretty easy. I'm very bright, so it take me very long to get adjusted to the system. Uh, played against the Cavs a handful of times, so I know what they do, what they run. Uh, so it's just really getting acclimated to the team, and I think anything, anything can happen. I think I'm excited to be here. Very excited to be here. I'm looking forward to playing with this young team, and we have a great core here as well. Kevin Love said he called you like five minutes after. What was that? I mean, is, was that like you had to feel pretty welcome? Yeah, yeah, so Kevin and I have a great relationship. We're in the same agency as well, too. So mm -hmm. the relationship was already there even while we were playing against each other. So mm -hmm. when the trade came through, you know, he was the first person to call me and uh, truly was ecstatic to have me here because uh, we both were talking about, you know, we didn't know what was going to happen during the trade deadline. So to be here with him, uh, knowing somebody that I had a relationship for a long time is great. How do you feel your guys' games complement each other? <laughs> He's a great shooter, a great passer, and I think I can help him very a lot on both ends of the court as well to help you know lessen the load on him. And Tristan, Coach Beeline mentioned that you you were talking with Tristan last night or had dinner or something. I mean, what does that say about him that you're probably taking his starting job and he's still taking you out? You know, like. I mean, I don't, I'm not taking anybody's job. I'm just here to play. I mean, I didn't come here expecting anything. Uh, I'm just here to do my job, whatever they need me to do, you know, I'll, I'll get it done. So just being a starter coming off the bench, you know, whatever they need for me to help this team be successful, I'll do it. Over the last couple of years, how much pride have you taken in, in improving your ball handling skills and even improving the passing? Yeah, the game is changing. So obviously the shooting will come later in my career, but as of now, I'm very efficient with handling the ball and making plays uh, in open court, with the dribble handoff and uh, the pick and roll game as well too, and able to spray it out for the three-point shot. So. I think working on that part of my game has really been beneficial for me. And uh, the next step is taking the light off the three. You mentioned about feeling wanted. That's one of the first <clears> things you said. Can you, you know, just kind of explain a little bit more about that? You know, for me, just coming to an organization that wants me to be here. You know, that's really all it boils down to is my excitement is, is genuine. I'm really happy to be here. I mean, obviously, despite the record, it doesn't phase me. I know I can do a lot of things here to help us improve and get ready for the next season. You've been in Detroit your entire career, so this is a new experience for you coming to a team midway Correct. through the season. Did you talk to Blake or anybody else about yeah. that and how to get through? Yeah, I, I spoke to Blake you know, immediately after I talked to Reggie. You know, guys have been traded before, and you know they gave me different insights of what I should do and how I should approach it. And it's, it's really worked. You know, obviously, I'm just excited to be here. Today was a great day of practice. I've learned a lot, and I'm looking forward to playing tomorrow. What was the advice that they gave you? <laughs> You mentioned the, you, the record doesn't intimidate you or whatever. No, it, does, uh, it, does, it, doesn't, yeah. it doesn't phase me because um, I see a bright future here in Cleveland. You know, the young guys here are really, really good. And uh, just with the addition of myself and having Kevin be healthy, I think we could do really, really, we could do special things here. Have you given any thought to your player options? 
man, I just got here, man. I haven't even unpacked the bag yet. I haven't thought, I haven't, <laughs> I haven't thought about anything, you know. As of right now, I'm putting Cavalier and I'm just excited to be here. But did the market, the way that the trade deadline went for you and what they got back and like teams not having cap space and things like that in the off season and what other centers were traded for and things like that, did that go through your mind when it no. comes to that? My main focus is getting here and getting adjusted as quick as possible. So you're basically putting your future out of your mind at this point? And just, yeah, I'm not, I yeah. can't think about that now. I mean, I, I have to control what I control. I have 30 games here left, you know, play to the best of my ability, help us get in a good situation, and win as many games as possible. And whatever happens in the summertime, we'll take care of it then. Kobe said you and him go back to uh, USA Basketball. Yeah, since I was 16, I've known yeah. Kobe. Like 15 years ago, I've known Kobe. So Are you just, excited to reunite with him? Absolutely. You know, he called me. He called me as well, too. And just uh, just that connection between USA Basketball, just everything we've been through from 16 to 26 now. And just having that relationship still to play under his leadership, that was awesome. He said back in when you met, he was like <clears throat> washing towels and stuff. Is it yeah. kind of like cool? He was, that... like the, he was like the ball kid for, for, <laughs> like for, U, for USA basketball. I'm like, look at him now. I know he's a he's general manager for the mm -hmm. Cup players, which is it's incredible for him. Mm -hmm. When you got into town, did you expect to land in a blizzard? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, it, it was actually pretty scary landing, but obviously I'm, I'm safe and I'm here now. But it was definitely a rocky flight. What are the expectations for yourself for the final 30 games? Just play to the best of my ability, learn the system, uh, find ways to help get our guards better, uh, find ways to just help this team, you know, get out of this rut and you know, put us in a good situation to have a successful offseason and do some success here. You have a pretty dominant front court now, obviously, with you here and Larry and Kevin and Tristan. Um, when you've played the Cavs and you've seen their, their struggles defensively, how do you, what, I guess, what's the biggest change you want to see and what just, you guys can do? I think I'm going to bring the toughness. I think it's going to really help on the aspect on both ends of the court. And uh, I think we'll be fine. I think uh, I know a lot of things I can share with them. And I know they know a lot of things to share with me as well, too. So it'll be, uh, be a good dialogue. Kevin and Tristan were joking yesterday about how you're going to be fighting each other for rebounds. <laughs> oh, we already know. We already know that's going to go down. <laughs> you know, the numbers are online, so they ain't going to be fighting. They're going to be very much fighting. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks, man. Thanks, <laughs> Thanks, guys.